As long as I can remember, God has been a part of my life. In saying that, what comes to mind the most is to the extent which he's been in my life. I grew up in the Catholic Church. Uh, quickly I learned the routine of what a Catholic Mass meant and what the Catholic faith was. For those that are not familiar, you're born into church, you get baptized um, on most occasions at about six weeks old. Then you participate in First Communion and later Confirmation. This whole process together makes you a Catholic. Now this testimony in no way means to put down the Catholic religion or faith, but to explain why my faith for so many years was skewed. I went to church every Sunday, I practiced the faith of the church, but the one thing that was missing all those years was my relationship with God. Again, I went to church and I went through the routine of sorts, but I never got to know the Lord himself. I was supposed to do what the Catholic faith told me to do. Showing up on Sunday did not make me a believer, nor did it help me get closer to God. I participated in the Catholic youth group, which led me to see the Pope when I was a senior in high school. That's one moment in my life that forever changed me. It was a defining moment in my, my quest to know who God was. I traveled to Denver, Colorado, and the excitement of all the believers that I traveled with was astounding. Inside, I wasn't sure what I was feeling, and honestly, as a senior in high school, all I could think about was this was a great, fun road trip. One moment on that trip defined who I was. We walked a mile um, to see the Pope. Everyone landed on the mass on the grass. The Pope arrived among thousands and thousands from all over the world. Everyone was crying, screaming, on their knees. I was taken back in awe to experience this moment, but strangely, it was also very confusing to me. My God doesn't make me go through a priest or a bishop or a pope in, in order to define what my faith was. I wanted to have a direct line to be able to communicate with him. This confusion led me out of church and, and out of the Catholic faith. Again, as a child, I never understood why I had to profess my sins to someone in order to get right with God. After my senior year, I still considered myself a believer and continued to live, live in the mentality that as long as I believed in God, I really didn't have to go to church. I could pray on my own and that was all I needed. That was when I was 18 and now I'm 42. I lived the majority of my life outside of a church other than showing up on Christmas and Easter because that's what we're supposed to do, right? And during that time, I had a great many hardships in my life. I lost my brother at the age of 30, then my dad at 56, and then I had a stillborn baby. I was married, but I was married without God. It was not a faith-based marriage. And to be honest with you, while all this was happening, I became very angry at God. My mom kept telling me, just pray. And I did, I, I'll be honest, I didn't know how to pray. I meant we had those rehearsed prayers that we used to say every Sunday in church, but to sit down and talk to God in prayer, I had no idea how. I knew in my heart that something was missing, and in all those years, I could never figure out what it was. I always looked at my mom as one of the strongest people that I knew. She got through everything. I always wondered how. She had so many trials and tribulations in her life. She was so strong. But now I know she was a believer. She never stopped going to church and she talked to God every day. As my marriage continued to fall apart, I was reaching at my soul to figure out what was missing. One day as I'm driving from Hawesville to Tell City, I see these little signs on the side of the road that said Crossroads Church. I thought, well, here I go, maybe, just maybe, this is a church for me. I think it was the grand opening and they were advertising. And I kept thinking, wow, this would be awesome, brand new me. No one there would know me, no one would know my past, no one would know what I went through. But you know what, I still never went. My marriage continued to fall apart and so did I. I was truly a lost soul. Yes, people saw me at work, and I was a great teacher, and I was a great friend, but inside I was so empty. I would look at my son and know that he needed something more than what I could give him. The start of 2017 began, and my life was forever changing. I began to clear my mind. I started running. I started seeking counseling, and everything just started to fall into place. On one Sunday in March 2017, I don't know what happened, but I finally finally did it. I went. I got up the nerve to walk into a new church of, hope, of hopes of no one judging me. 
No judgment for where I was in my life, what I had been through, and the many sins I, I was carrying around on my shoulders. I was so scared, I was so alone, empty, but that day has forever changed my life. I started going to Crossroads every week. Most days I was sitting alone, I was crying a lot, but my heart was so full. I would sit in that church and I didn't want to leave. And that was kind of the ongoing jo joke with the church members because they always said, Alicia's just going to sit here <laughs> week after week and never go home. This was my new family and it wasn't just a church. I was welcomed in my first women's Bible study group and I finally announced for the first time out loud that I was getting a divorce and what I was going through. And I knew at that moment I needed God in my life more than ever. Those women were so amazing to me. They hugged me every week, asked how I, were do how I was doing, and the compassion was overwhelming. Fast forward to right now, I still go to Crossroads every Sunday. I still cry some, I still sit alone some, but I am certainly never and not alone anymore. I was accepted wholeheartedly, even, even though I'm a sinner and a sinner that went through a divorce, I am forever a brand new person. It warms my heart when I bring my two-year-old and he talks about church and God. What a blessing that is to me. I've learned to read the Bible. I've learned to pray and just put God first. How could I have ever thought that I didn't need church? Crossroads has made me a true believer again. Some may ask why I'm choosing to get baptized because I've been baptized. The answer is quite simple. I want to give myself to the God that has been so good to me, yet I turned my back on him so many years ago. I thought I didn't need him. It's my, t it's my time to be all in for my Savior. My message is to hopefully send hope to those people who do not believe. And most of all, I want to challenge those people who think that they already have it figured out. That, that, because we, we don't have it figured out. God only knows and most of all, he forgives. Yes, he forgives. I have never felt so close to him and could not be more thankful for his daily blessings in my life. Crossroads has been on top of the top of my blessings list for the past year. My name is Alicia Connor and I am all in.